thought they were good friends. Yet, they have never dined at each other's house. One day, Todd said to Grasper, Dear friend, come to my house and dine with me tomorrow. My wife and I will prepare a special meal and we will eat together. The next day, Grasper appeared at Todd's house. Before sitting down to eat, Toad washed his front legs and invited Grasshopper to do the same. Grasshopper did so, but when he rubbed his legs together, he made a loud chirping noise. Friend Grasshopper, said Todd, if you make such a loud noise, I cannot eat. Grasshopper tried to eat without rubbing his four legs together and make a noise, but it was impossible. Each time he gave a chirp, Todd asked him to be quiet. Grasshopper felt angry and could not eat in peace. Finally, he said, Todd, I invite you to my house for dinner tomorrow. Todd arrived at Grasshopper's house at the next day. As soon as the meal was ready, Grasshopper washed his four legs and invited. Todd did the same thing. Todd did so and hopped towards the food. Go back and wash your legs again, Grasshopper said. They're very dirty from all the hopping about. Todd went back to the water jar, washed again, and hopped back to the table. He was just reaching out for some food when Grasshopper stopped him. Don't touch that food with those dirty hands. Go and wash them again. Todd was furious. It seems you don't want me to eat with you, he said. You know very well I can't move about without using my forelegs. They are bound to get a little dirty. I can't help it. Well, you are the one who started it yesterday, Grasshopper said. You know very well I can't rub my forelegs together without making a noise. After that day, they were no longer friends. Moral of the story is, if you want to friendship with someone, you have to be accepting of who he is. The moral lesson of this story is that if you wish to have true friendship with someone, learn to accept each other's fault as well as each other's good qualities.